How does the GSE negative pressure fan controller works? Before installing the controller, expose the wall mount brackets. Use the screws supplied with the controller when mounting the controller to your wall. Be sure to mount the controller in a safe place, keeping it well ventilated. For safety reasons, it is strongly recommended to mount on non-flammable surface, such as brick, concrete, and never wood, plastic, cardboard, or similar. Do not place your controller in small unventilated rooms or cabinets. Improper installation will result in overheating of the controller. For AC fans, plug your intake fan into the left socket, and exhaust fan into the right socket. For model AC EC fans, if your controller is including an EC fan option, connect your EC intake fan into the bottom left port, exhaust fan into the bottom right port. Place the sensor at the area you wish to measure. Make sure that the sensor is not directly exposed to a heat source or stream of light, in order to obtain the most precise measurement of the ambient air. Power your controller and check that the power LED light is lit up. The negative pressure fan controller is a phase controller for one exhaust fan, and one intake fan. You can post three settings on three knobs. Temperature, minimum speed, and negative pressure setting. The temperature range is from 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. The minimum speed setting, from off position jumps to 20%, and is variable up to 100% speed. And the negative pressure setting, from 100% to minus 50% intake fan speed. On the temperature setting knob you set the desired temperature, for example 24 degrees Celsius. On the second knob you set the minimum speed of the intake fan, which should never be undercut during the regulation, for example we set this on 20%. At the third knob you set the negative pressure setting of the outtake fan, for example minus 30%. The hysteresis is a fixed value of 2 degrees Celsius. The hysteresis is the controlling range of the fan speed according to the temperature. In these 2 degrees Celsius the fan speed will change from the lowest point given from the minimum speed setting, to the highest point of the regulation 100% of the fan speed depending on the measured temperature. The negative pressure reduces the fan speed of the outtake fan during the regulation of the controller. It works synchronous according to the intake fan. We set minus 50% negative pressure, this means now the intake fan runs 50% less than the outtake fan. If the outtake fan is on 100%, the intake fan have 50% fan speed. If the outtake fan is on 80%, the intake fan have 40% fan speed, and etc. Once the temperature is below its set value, the intake fan switches off, while the outtake fan runs on its set minimum speed setting. As long as the measured temperature on the probe is below 24 degrees Celsius, the controller keeps your fan working on 20% speed, which comes from the minimum speed setting. When the temperature rise and exceed the 24 degrees Celsius, the fan's speed starts to increase according to the temperature in the next 2 degrees Celsius, up to 100% fan speed, till 26 degrees Celsius. Now as higher the fan speed is, and more fresh and cold air is circulating in the room, the measured temperature will decrease again and the fans will slow down. We call this auto-balancing of the airflow according to the temperature. The minimum speed setting sets the desired minimum speed on the outtake fan. It is the strongest setting and always overdrives the temperature setting. If you set the minimum speed setting to off position, the fan will stop working when the measured temperature is below its set value. The minimum speed setting have a 20% infinitely start up peak to give enough power to the outtake fan to run on low speed. By default, the intake air fan always switches off when the values are below their setting. A jumper JMP2 in the inside of the controller can change this behavior. Close the jumper JMP2, if you want the intake air fan to keep the same minimum speed setting as the exhaust air fan. 
For EC fans, you can use the two jumpers JMP1, to switch the intake fan and the exhaust fan individually, from 0 to 10 volts to PWM pulse width modulation signal. The negative pressure fan controller has a built-in temperature surveillance sensor to protect from overheating. In case of overheating, the controlling range of the fans becomes fixed. While the controller is cooling down, the exhaust fan runs at maximum speed, and the intake fan stops working. After the internal temperature of the controller falls below 50 degrees Celsius, the controlling range returns to variable fan speed. The power LED indicates this with a fast blinking. To reset this blinking LED you have to unpower the controller. In case such overheating happens once, you have to move the controller to a place where you obtain a better cooling.